Hi everyone, welcome back to WG Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. So, continuing the logical operators or now we are going to implement this example. So, I want to know if I can buy a PS5 and we first have to give a value to the PS5 and then we have to check if credit card, debit card or here and let's change this to checkings account. Checkings account, a little bit more straightforward. If we have money in one of these, it means that we are allowed. Of course, we also should ask probably our wives if we can buy it. Continuing, let's go if uh, creating here a new class and then conditional uh, zero 06. Okay, so the example will start the same as the others. PSVM, you have a class, you have the main method, the main entry point. It means that your program will get uh, started right here. Now, we want to buy a PS5. First, we need the value. So let's create here float uh, PS5 uh, price. And then we are going to say, hey, this is 500 euros, dollars. Unfortunately, if you do not live in Europe or United States, probably the value will be a little bit different here. So float PS5 uh, price, we have 500. And then we're going to do the following double. We have three things. First, first is the credit card available credit. Basically, this one can be, hey, I have 5,000. And then we have here double uh, checkings account. Uh, let's say checking account. Um, yeah, let's just keep value. So, or yeah, let's keep value. I forgot the name we give to what we call when we have some something available, but it's not about it. And then savings, savings, checking, savings, account, value. And then uh, say here we have 200. So as you can see, we have enough money to buy looking at this with credit card. Now we are not checking which one we, we have like we are going to pay for, but we just want to check if one of these has enough money uh, available. Now, how can we do that? First, we are going to need an if statement because if I have enough money, that's the condition. In one of these, it means that I'm going to buy it. So technically, let's say you just want to go to the store if you have one of these uh conditions to true what condition is that the uh, money that we have available in these accounts and credit cards they are greater than uh the value that we have here 500 so how do we start first we can say we can start with any of these conditions but let's say credit card available credit if this is greater i'm not going to say greater or equals because let's say that we want to have a little bit money left so if this is greater than the PS5 price, it means I can buy. Or if my checking account value is greater than the PS5 price, or if my savings account value is greater, and I will press Alt 1 to remove this sidebar, is greater than the PS5 price. So basically, these are the conditions I can buy if uh, I have money in my credit card or if I have money in my checkings account or if I have money in my savings account. So checking current account is the same thing. Now I have here salt. I can buy a PS5. Else let's buy next month. Okay, so let's execute this program. Remember, Control Shift F10, and we can buy. So what's happening here? If we go and we start drawing again, remember that we did the same for the upper end and end. So we have here. Let's say this is 14, and then we move this a little bit here. Okay. So the first thing is Java is going to evaluate from left to right. So the first condition Java is going to evaluate is this credit card and PS5 price. So basically the credit card is 5,000, PS5 uh, price is 
500, it means that this one will be true. Since we are using the OR operator, Java will completely ignore because remember, the OR, as long as one is true for Java, the rest doesn't matter because then this in the end will be if true. It's going to work. Okay, so let's say that we change a little bit the order. Let's say that this, the credit card is the last one. So let's say here, credit card is the last one. Okay, so let's check the evaluation. First, checking account has more money than what we have to pay for the PS5 price. Actually, this is false. Why? Because the checking account, if we check here, is 400 and the savings 200. So basically, this is false. Okay, so since this is OR, Java will keep checking everything that's on the right side of the expression. If this was AND, that was it. But since this is OR, Java will check one by one, trying to find something that's true. And then it's going to check here. Okay, so if I cannot buy with checking account, what options do I have next? I have savings. But savings is also false. Okay, so we have false. And remember, false and false, what's the result? False. So here we have false. But then we have another option. What's the other option? We have credit card uh, credit. It means that we can buy because it's 5,000. So this one is true. Now, false and true, we will evaluate it to true. And in the end, what's the result of the expression? It's true. It means that we can buy. So basically, that's it. That's the difference between AND and OR. There are use cases uh, where you have to use uh, both of them, but we are not going to focus on, on them now. If you understand like what they are doing here, it's more than enough for now. Just remember that you can also prioritize. Uh, for example, you can say that the result of this expression and this one, and then yeah, Java will, will do here the evaluation of these two. And then if one of these two is true or false, then it will evaluate to the next one. So you can also ignore if you don't have to prioritize. Usually you have to use parentheses. For example, when you are using uh, ampersand ampersand, the end logical operator, and then you want to check, for example, the result of the or plus the result of end. And then you have to use the, the parentheses. But so far, let's keep it simple. Just remember that you have the end that's a percent a percent and then you have or that's the pipe pipe and based on what you are trying to achieve they will have different results so that's it i think in the the next video let's see we still have a little bit more content about conditions so in the next video bye bye